Hello there, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always an honor to have you here. Thank you so much to everyone that has stopped by. God bless you. I am excited to have you here. On this channel, we share the word of God. I give you prophetic words and prophetic um, declarations as the Lord leads it in my heart and as he gives me utterance. I also come on life at least once every day so that we share the word of God. We pray the mind of God. We connect ourselves to prophetic declarations every day. So if you're here and this is the first time you're watching me, you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead right now and touch that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that every time we are on, maybe when we are live praying, you're going to receive a notification. Or when there is a release of a prophetic word, you will be the first to know. I always say you never know when God has a word for you. You don't want to miss that word. Hallelujah. All eyes are going to be on you, embarrassed. But God says, don't stop. All eyes will be on you. I mean, it's an embarrassing moment. But God says, don't stop. Everyone has what they, I mean, what they expect from God. Everyone has a desire in their heart, something that they are believing God for. I have, in my little time of, you know, um, praying for people and all of that, I've come to realize there is no one that has everything figured out. There is no one that has everything, you know, like everything about their life is going as they had, they had planned. There's always a little issue somewhere. There's always a little issue here and there. But the good news is that God can fix all of that. God can solve all of that. God can always remedy. He is the solution. But it's going to not be wise of you to be in the presence of your solution and you are acting like, I mean, like the people that are around you matter. You act as though um, um, your healing depends on them. No, it doesn't. And you have to let them know. I love the man blind Bartimaeus. The Bible says that when blind Bartimaeus heard, remember, I mean, his, his situation was so bad that he was described by, 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 his, by his circumstance. Blind Bartimaeus means the blind son of Timaeus. He did not even have an identity anymore. He was identified by his condition. I mean, it was that bad. And when he heard that Jesus was passing, he started screaming, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people that were, I mean, maybe they were around him, they hushed him and they said, stay quiet. They were embarrassed, you know. There's a, kind, there's a time when you, you cause a nuisance and the people that are around you, they are embarrassed on your behalf. They are like, can you stop noise? You're embarrassing yourself. They are looking at you like you're making, a, you're, you're causing a nuisance, you know. And the more they tried to hush him, the louder he cried, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. And when Jesus turned back and like, okay, what's happening? Someone is calling uh, uh, out to me. Someone needs my attention. And he turned and asked, what do you want that I might receive my sight? And guess what? Jesus prayed for him and he received his sight. One thing I learned from the story of blind Bartimaeus is that you do not have to be quiet when you are in the presence of your helper. If people care, they, whether they are trying to hush you or they are feeling embarrassed about how you behave, that is their business. That is why when I'm in church and it's time for praise, I don't care who is dancing or who is not dancing. I dance as though I am there only with God alone. You might think I'm embarrassing myself. You might think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm causing some kind of stir or uproar. But it doesn't matter. I am dancing before my God. Remember David and, is it Abigail? No, no, it's not Abigail. 
David and the son and the daughter of um and the daughter of King Saul, I've forgotten her name. David was dancing before God so passionately. He was dancing when the ark of God had come back to the, to the city of David. He was dancing and dancing so much so that the rope of his trouser cut today is going to be called a belt. The belt of his trouser fell off and the wife was so embarrassed. The lady was so embarrassed and he went to King David and said, how can you dance like this? Don't you know you are a king? How can you dance to a point where your belt falls off? And David res responded to her. She said, I was dancing before my maker. I was dancing before my God. The one who took kingship from your father and gave it to me. I am dancing before the one who took kingship from your father Saul and gave it to me. He did not care who was looking. He did not care who was there. All that was important to him was that he praises God. The same thing happened to blind Bartimaeus. He did not care that he was embarrassing. He did not care that people hushed him. He did not care about anything they were saying. All that was important was that he gets his healing. And eventually he did. So it is not important. Do not let, do not let what people think stop you from getting your blessings do not let what people think um stop you from everyone has what they need from god everyone has what they need from god and it is your degree of faith and degree of push that will determine what you are able to get excuse me the woman with the issue of blood in her own case she did not even think she needed jesus to pray for her she told herself, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to get my healing. And so it did not matter who was trying to stop her from touching the hem of Jesus' garment. It did not matter. She had a goal, and her goal was to reach out to Jesus and touch the hem of his garment. And guess what? She succeeded, and she got her healing. Child of God, I want to admonish you today. Your, the way you see God might sound embarrassing to someone. The way you see God might be like um, you're, cause, you're causing a nuisance. But as long as you know what you want from God, as long as you have your expectation, do not let um, their behavior change how you react. Whether they are embarrassed of you is none of your business. Whether they think you're crazy because of what you're doing is none of your business. What is most important is that you are doing the right thing. You are connecting to God. You are getting your blessing. You are getting your deliverance. You are getting your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. You are getting your healing in Jesus' mighty name. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.